Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany if you're new here, and if you are not, thanks for coming back. In today's video, I am going to unbox a Louis Vuitton item. You are never going to guess what I got my hands on. Go ahead and pause the video now and comment below what you think I picked up. Alright, so when I first heard this bag's release date, I went ahead and contacted one of the sales associates that I knew and texted them and let them know to keep me in mind if they got one of these bags in store. Um, and so far I haven't heard anything back, so I assume they have not gotten anything in or there was other people ahead of me on the list. Um, and so then when the bag was released, I went ahead and contacted the Louis Vuitton customer service line um, phone line for the first couple of days after it was released to see if there was any available anywhere and I did not have luck with that either so at that point I got kind of discouraged and just decided to look online every once in a while and kind of slow down my search um, and then it got to a point where I really just didn't even look at all anymore because I didn't think it was possible to get this bag however the other day when I was near a store I went ahead and stopped in when they opened and asked for the bag and at first they didn't think that they had it and she went ahead and looked to make sure or to see that if there was any available anywhere and she said that they had one in the store um she couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it so she pulled it out and uh let me show you what i got all right so here is the bag that it came in and let me show you a couple of the things. She gave me some goodies. She gave me some perfume and um, cologne samples, and I've already taken those out. Um, she was kind enough to send some home for my husband too. Um, but first thing is she gave me this little book. It's called the, I don't know, 200, it says 200 on it. Um, and so it has all kinds of like articles or um, reading material and pictures. So it's, um, that was really nice of her, so. Anyways, here's kind of like a snapshot of that. So that was kind of fun. And then like I said, she gave me a couple of perfume and corn samples. Here is the box. Does anybody know what's inside? Okay, this is my first time seeing the bag since I was in store. I have not peeked or anything. So here is the box. As you can tell, it is small. All right, here we go. So it has a magnetic closure. And here is the bag. It is very tiny, as you can see. I got the new Nano Speedy. Look how tiny she is. I will try to pop up the dimensions on the screen later on so you can see but this is the bag I am so excited this is the one that has the removable straps and the pre-treated uh, vachetta here so that will be nice not to have to worry about that so here she is what do you think all right, so before we realized that they had the Nano Speedy in store, she did pull out the Speedy 20, and I tried that on, um, and I could not go, I could not decide which one I wanted between the two. I kept going back and forth, back and forth, um, if I was going to buy either of them at all. Um, I had been wanting this for so long, but uh, I just didn't know. It was a big decision, and I wasn't surprised, or I wasn't ready to make that decision. I didn't expect them to have either of the bags. So I tried them on. I did like the Speedy 20 quite a bit, um, just for ease of use. I feel like um, if you carry, which I don't carry a lot of stuff, all of my essentials do fit in here, but just getting in and out of it easier um, with all of your items. Um, so that was one thing I did like about that. And then um, I prefer the strap, the solid Vachetta or leather strap of this versus the strap that comes on the Speedy 20. Um, just I feel like it's more versatile and can go with more things than having uh, the colors on the other strap. So that was one reason that I did decide to go with this one. The price difference was, I believe, um, just about $300. I'd have to, it's close to that. I don't know exactly, but um, around $300. And of course, the size difference is substantial between the Speedy 20 and this one. Um, but I feel like this one is something that I have been wanting so long. Um, so I went ahead and went with this one and I feel like if I didn't get this one now, I might not ever get the chance to see this one or have an opportunity to purchase it again. 
Um, as I said, it was kind of hard to, it was just luck that I went in and they had it um, as I had been trying to get it and look online and all of the things before and had no luck. So, um, is this something that you guys would buy? It is so many. Um, maybe I'll do a what fits in my bag coming up soon. Now, this one was made in um, France versus the Speedy 20 was made in the U.S., um, which I don't think I have any made in the U.S., um, but I assume the quality is the same. Let me know if you have any made in the U.S. and how you feel about the quality. I'm sure it's the same, but... Um, Anyway, so this one comes with the removable strap that does have the, let's see here, Louis Vuitton on that. Um, and it is adjustable. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is on the longest one right now. When I tried it on in the store, that's just what we put it on. And it does fit good crossbody. I am 5'8". Um, maybe just a tad bit taller than that. Um, so they open like this. I'm sure you've probably seen some videos on this already if you're interested, but it's just a push clasp here. Um, so yeah, I am super excited to start using this bag. Um, let me know if you have any more questions and thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video.